Tellum Tribe Tarot. Daily readings for my tribe. Subscribe to my channel. Peace everyone. I am Peggy with Tellum Tribe Tarot coming to you with a general reading for the collective. I trust that you had a beautiful, prosperous, energetic, fun day. I trust that no one got on your damn nerves. And if they did, that you uh, you went through it with grace and you didn't allow it to um, get to you to the point where it affected your inner peace. And that's on that. So with this reading, I want you to take what resonates and leave behind what does not. And we're going to get right into your general reading. Click like, turn on post notifications, share the video to share the wealth, drop a comment to say hello to a goddess, subscribe to my channel, and so forth and so forth. All right, so let's see what energies we can pick up on tonight. What interesting energies can we pick up on tonight? What can we pick up on tonight? All right. So currently what's going on is there is some internal conflict with someone going back and forth about something that's bothering them. Um, this is an energy of someone who wants to get out more and you're fighting yourself with this because I know that you're naturally introverted and to get out more would require you to be uncomfortable and you have decided that you want to make some changes in your social life because you look at shows you look at other people and their friends groups and you see how people link up on friday evenings and they do things and they get together they have a good time they come back to work on monday they have a story to tell and then there's you who barely even want to make eye contact to discuss what happened at breakfast that morning you know what i mean so i feel like you just want to feel wanted and this is coming from this is coming from a time when in the past you were overlooked by people that you cared about this is deeper than rap you know what i mean and now you just want to address the things that are bothering you because you realize you know what the fuck i'm getting older I'm getting wiser and I'm realizing that the things that affected me in the past in my childhood or adolescence is beyond my control, but it does show up time and time again in my adult life. And I just want to change some things and I want to do something nice for myself. Um, and if that means that I have to get out and explore some more and make myself uncomfortable to ex to to experience these things, so let it be. I see the task in connection with that is just seeing the strength within yourself to recognize that you can do way more than you give yourself credit for. I feel like you hold yourself back even on the nights when you get dressed up. I see you getting dressed up in your finest, whatever your finest means to you. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energies are present or could be in your chart and you go back and lay down and watch Netflix or you surf the internet or you do something that makes you pass out. Like if you have a habit with micro dosing on shrooms or um, smoking, smoking, whatever it is that you do, I feel like you just indulge in it in an extra way. So it causes you to just deflect from doing what you set, set forth to do and then you don't end up going out. And then the, t the tower is also the, the task in connection with that as well. I see that you, you self-sabotage a lot. You think about, you know, what's wrong and why your situation is not changing, why your social life is so dead. And I see that you want to make the change. And I'm seeing you looking into the near future and realizing that if you don't adjust something, you're going to be back in this place of 
inadequacy of feeling like you're not enough or that you're not deserving of the things that you want. And the solution is the Ace of Swords. It's just maneuvering around your mindset that you are not enough. I feel like you have people that I feel like you've met people that you felt like could be your tribe, but you felt like maybe they thought you were weird. This is an energy of someone who feels like they don't move like the normal human being. And when you find someone that's your version of weird, you hold on to them super tight and then they feel that you're too clingy and weird. So the solution with that is to, to release your idea of what you think weird is and to embrace yourself so that you can reflect what you're trying to attract. Um, um, embrace yourself so that you don't have to care about how you look to other people. I also see that the new insights is the Ace of Wands is that if you embrace yourself and not care about how you look to other people, you're going to surprise yourself with the changes that are going to happen in your life. You're going to see that people are going to reach out to you instead of you trying to figure out what are you going to do on a Friday night. It's difficult, but I see a lot of new beginnings here with the Ace of Swords as the um, possible solution and the Ace of Wands as the new insights is just the potential for new things to come with you putting much needed energy into changing the way how you socialize and how you converse and not holding back your ideas and not holding back the way how you feel. Even if you feel like what you're going to say is silly, stop second guessing things before you say it stop second guessing your truth i feel like some of you may be transitioning i feel like someone might be transitioning um and transitioning could be in any aspect of a mindset um or transitioning uh between sexes um transitioning from one spiritual way of living to the next or whatever that means for you but you are transitioning into a a um, a world of abundance for yourself. And the thing about it is that you may have been in religious at some point and you released that. And I feel like for this energy that I just picked up on, like you came from like a religious family and now like you're super spiritual. And it's difficult in some aspects because you don't have those same connections anymore to the friends that you had in the church that were tied to the upbringing that you had. Like you disconnected yourself from that because it doesn't resonate with you anymore. And you're just looking for a new way to do things because you want to find your place in the world. And that's not always easy when you have this learned way, this these learned behaviors, whether it be from... Um, religious groups that you were introduced to you in your upbringing or in your search to find what your purpose is and you've attained that um that that way of living for some time and now you've released yourself from it and it's just it feels really new and strange as with anything and any new journey but stepping outside of your box and realizing that there's a big world out there that's just waiting to not just swallow you up, but to soak up your goodness and what you have to offer. Even if you think it's weird in the beginning, the moment that you release the idea that what you feel is weird, that's the moment that you stop portraying that what you have to offer is not good enough to others. And that's when they will hold you um, up in 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 the light to see you more they they'll push you to the forefront of their life to make time for you to go out with you to experience things with you but if you put out an energy of being afraid to experience things then that's when things are going to fall apart but i feel like if you don't make that change to step out and um take meaningful steps towards and take time to understand yourself so that you don't feel uncomfortable explaining yourself, that's when you're going to start to see those changes. And the possible conclusion is the judgment card. When you look at yourself and realize that sometimes you're your worst, own worst enemy and everyone is not out to get you. Everyone that doesn't agree with you is not your enemy. And everyone that you haven't may necessarily um 
been able to connect with on a spiritual level doesn't necessarily mean they're not spiritual but you're on different spiritual planes so i feel like you just want to experience new things and that's why you are at somewhat of a spiritual standstill with what's to happen next i feel like you also just want to get rid of the friends that you had before because they don't they don't align with what you would see for yourself in the future i see that you see you just see a different type of connection um, to whom you want in your circle. You want a diverse amount of people in your circle, but you don't want people who are judgy and you're not a judgmental person, which is no surprise to me why the judgment card is the possible solution. Just as a quick reminder that don't judge yourself so much if you don't want to be judged by other people. You know what I mean? People are going to judge you regardless. But what I'm saying is putting yourself on the chopping block as if you did something wrong and not giving people the fair opportunity to know the beautiful and dope ass human being that you are before you throw out a comment that's negative or you diss yourself on on your first time crossing paths with new energies. It's not fair. Spirit, please provide me with the closing messages for the collective. Please provide me with a closing message for the collective. I'm going to pull an oracle card for you. So introspection. So you need to look into yourself and see what it is that you truly desire. And look around you. There are signs showing you every single day what you should be doing and who you should be doing it with. And you have to pay attention to those things, the synchronicities, the the people that you attract when you're vibrating on a higher frequency you have to pay attention to those things when you're feeling your best when you are vibrating on a frequency that makes you feel like nothing else matters in the world in that moment pay attention to who is around you pay attention to the people that sees the light in you even when you don't feel so light and airy the, that is your tribe and that is who you connect with and pay attention to the type of conversations that you have with yourself, even if those conversations are in your journal. Spirit, any closing messages for this person who needs guidance on how to branch out and experience the world with nuke energies? Don't be afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. And you have everything to gain. The King of Wands. I also feel like this King of Wands energy had a negative effect on the way how you look at yourself. A Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. It could be someone like an older brother or someone who has a masculine energy that really made you look at yourself as if you were inadequate. Your spirit guides are saying that you should try to disconnect yourself from this person because they don't care about them because they don't know they don't realize how they affect you because you never really speak up enough for them to know because they think it's such a big joke to speak on you in negative ways and it's it's like they 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 get a they get a kick out of seeing you hurt this person is childish. This person doesn't know how to maintain a relationship with others. And I feel like this is learned behavior. So I feel like this person has mommy or daddy issues. So this may be a family member. I feel like this is an older brother that you have an estranged relationship with or an older, or an older sibling that may have been um, someone who used you as a mental... Um, mentally beat they mentally beat you up so to speak and i feel like this is why you've always had an issue with making friends because they always separated you they always made you feel as if you weren't good enough or your light was too bright or you did things the in a weird way but your spirit guides are telling you in retrospect your life is not um your life is not a mistake the decisions that you've made until now was not a mistake. You're not here by chance. There's no such thing as, 
oh, this is just a coincidence that you're in this spot. No, you were here, placed here for a reason and you deserve to have that tight knit support system that you've always wanted, that the ones that you admire, the ones that you watch on television and hope to, to, to have that welcomes you and the ones that you can go out with to a club or to a bar, or to a book club or to a festival and have a great time and not worry about being judged. And I feel like once you start recognizing your, your worth, you will be able to attract that tribe. I hope this resonates with someone. If you'd like to book a personal reading, go to tellemtribetarot.com, click the book a reading link, subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you soon. Love and light, tribe.